buddy, Suburban Legend here, bringing you guys gameplay commentary today on Pharaoh. I finally downloaded the new map pack. <laughs> I only had one downloaded, and uh, I honestly haven't played Call of Duty in like three, four months, so I logged on Sunday morning, a little bit bored, and uh, saw there was, I don't know, two more map packs I hadn't even looked at. One had a new free downloadable content gun, which I'm usually a sucker for, but I didn't even download that thing, so I just figured I'd mess around on the new map packs. I had some uh, credit on my PlayStation Network account anyway, so I threw it away on this map pack, I guess. But anyways, I actually was having fun playing this game again. Um, usually when you jump off for three, four months, you just suck when you jump back on. But nevertheless, I did okay, but uh, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> the subject of today's commentary is, what if Call of Duty were a gameplay commentating channel? What if Call of Duty, the series itself, was a gaming channel? That's what I was going to go through. I, I had this thought this weekend, uh, especially when I jumped back on after not playing for a while. And I just thought, I was sitting there just thinking over the evolution of the entire Call of Duty series. Where it was at in the beginning and where it's at today. Uh, and that's what I wanted to talk about in my video today. So, here we go. <laughs> it all started off in Call of Duty 4, as I'm sure. Many of you, it was probably your first Call of Duty game as well. Although I actually kind of missed out on COD 4. Uh, World at War was my first game, but... Uh, I definitely went back and bought COD 4 after that and enjoyed the hell out of it, but like I was saying, it all started off good with Call of Duty 4, you know, it's sort of a, like the new gamer on the block, the, the new gameplay channel, it's, it's high quality, it's just consistent videos left and right, and every, every time you jump on and play the game, it was fun, or in, in terms of the gameplay commentating channel, every video that comes out, you're like, man, I agree with absolutely everything this guy says. You're one of the first, you know, 100 people to be subscribed to this channel. Um, and it's just starting to grow and grow and take off like wildfire. You're telling all your friends about this channel, this awesome YouTube channel you heard of. They're jumping on, they're telling their friends and co-workers. And, oh, dude, this channel's awesome. You gotta play, you gotta listen to this guy's videos. He, he's awesome. Then World at War comes out and it just continues. When Modern Warfare 2 comes out, it absolutely blows up this gameplay channel. I mean, the dude is on on uh, the front page of YouTube with every video he puts up and just getting more and more popular and your younger brothers listening to this guy's videos and and your uncle at, the, at your family barbecues watching his video on his cell phone and you're like wow this guy's everywhere what the hell's going on and it just keeps continuing through Black Ops, Black Ops 2 and then finally when it gets to Call of Duty Ghosts after it reached the pinnacle of sales and and subscribers, you know, the, the gameplay channel was essentially on top of the YouTube industry when it comes to the gaming corner of the, of the YouTube market. And then all of a sudden, it started kind of getting stale. Uh, the guy ran out of original ideas, started throwing in, uh, started biting other people's ideas and, and just stopped taking risks with original videos and, and creativity and started uh, playing it safe if you will, and, and using old tried and true ideas like throwing in Michael Myers into your downloadable content gameplay and, and Alien. I mean, what the hell is with that? <laughs> Are you absolutely out of originality and creativity? You just have to start going back to the old school <laughs> and, and, and copying movie franchises? I mean, what's the deal with that, honestly? And now it's just, it's gotten to the absolute point where, where, uh, this gameplay commentator has enjoyed such a level of success for such a long period of time that he can't handle not uh, not enjoying the lifestyle he's accustomed to with the amount of money he was making. Now he's not selling as much, so he has to, uh, you know, people aren't watching his videos as much, so he's not making as much in ad revenue as he typically had. So can't quite support his lifestyle that he's used to, so now he has to monetize everything, which is essentially what Activision is going through now with their shareholders trying to get their return on investment. Uh, everything is for freaking sale. I've never seen so much shit for sale in my life. I understood back in the day a, a map pack. You know, there'd be a game, it'd have a map pack. Then it went to two. Then it's three. Now it's four map packs at least with every Call of Duty game. This one is ridiculous. Like I said, I hadn't logged on in about three months. You can buy for $1.99 a downloadable voice pack. So the guy who does the voiceovers in your multiplayer matches, you can customize that voice to Snoop Dogg or... That uh, guy from uh, Steel Full Metal Jacket. What the hell? Seriously, what the fuck is with that? Everything you can buy. You can change the skin of your attack dog from a from a dog to a wolf for like a buck or two. 
I mean, downloadable camels was one thing, but now it's just, there's thousands of downloadable camels. I liked in Call of Duty 4 where you can get gold, or Modern Warfare 2 where you get fall camel. It, it actually meant something. You you grinded for it. Now it meant you stole $1.99 off your mommy's debit card. Honestly, what the hell? Camels have absolutely lost all meaning in Call of Duty, and this game is just, it's lost all originality and creativity, uh, if you ask me. So. Anyways, this gameplay is just about wrapping up. That's, uh, I guess that's kind of my thoughts on... You know, that's my take on comparing the Call of Duty franchise to Gameplay Channel. Uh, enjoyed some success. Now it's sort of at the end. <laughs> and I really hope they can retool and find their... Uh, go back to their roots with, uh, with the next Call of Duty release coming out this fall. But anyways, 23 tags and a game of Kill Confirmed. Not half bad. This has been Suburban Legend. We'll see you next time.